West Nile virus is becoming a real concern in the tri-state this month with nearly 20 cases reported now in the state of Ohio. As a result, mosquitoes are no longer just a little nuisance. They're a danger, so we have some advice to keep them out of your yard. With West Nile virus sweeping the country and two cases reported in Hamilton County, tri-state homeowners are worried about mosquitoes more than ever. Earlier this summer, Butch Reed showed us his yard full of mosquitoes at his Claremont County home. And like a lot of homeowners, wanted to take his yard back. Particularly in a wooded area like this, you get a lot of mosquitoes. And uh, we just want to be able to enjoy our yard. The best way to prevent West Nile virus? Spray. Either with a store-bought spray like cutters or one put down by a professional. And we actually target the underside of the leaves. Uh, of the foliage. That's where the mosquitoes like to rest during the day. But if you don't like spray, the easiest thing to do is to remove mosquito breeding grounds. According to our partners at the Consumer Guide, Angie's List. Angie Hicks says it's not just puddles you need to check, but bird baths and gutters too. When it comes to mosquitoes, they love to breed in standing water. So the key here is to remove any standing water on your property. If you have a kiddie pool, a bird bath, empty those at least once a week. If you have gutters that are clogged, that's also a potential problem. So be sure they're properly maintained. Finally, don't forget to cover up with repellent anytime you're out in the yard or woods right now. You can find anti-mosquito yard sprays at Lowe's, Home Depot, and most independent hardware stores. Finally, Angie suggests you get neighbors involved, too, because think of this. It won't work if you spray for mosquitoes in your yard, but both homes next to you are infested with them. Get the neighborhood involved so you don't waste your money, Brennan. Thanks, John. I was going to wear purple.